forward. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Time to Talk. I'm R.G. Holliman, and today is October 25th, is it? <laughs> And uh, we are just moving right along yes. in the year. It is almost Thanksgiving, and then it'll be Christmas, and then we'll be saying Happy New Year <laughs> all over again, yes. So, which is a good thing. Yes. That, that, that's a good thing, October 26th. I kind of felt something was wrong, so it's always good to have backup. <laughs> October 26th. I just wanted to see if y'all knew what the day was. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just had to make sure. Well, we're glad that you could join us once Thank again you. today if we are live with you uh, on this Wednesday, October 26, 2016. <laughs> and we're happy to have as our guest today, Mrs. Shave Mosby. Yeah. Mrs. Mosby, it's good to have you on time to talk Thank you today. So much. Thank you. We are so glad that you could join us and you are uh, the owner of Mosby's Popcorn Palace, along with your husband, Brian Mosby. It's good to have you today. Thank you. And so we want to find out about your business. That's a very interesting business, popcorn. Of course, I got to say, I love popcorn. <laughs> I love popcorn. I always have. Uh, how long have you been in business? So we've been in business um, roughly about 10 months. About 10 months. Yes. This is brand new for this you? This is a brand new venture for us. Mm -hmm. And it's right here in the greater Grand Rapids area? That is correct. We're actually located at 60th and Kalamazoo. Um, we're right in the Clock Tower Plaza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you actually have a store? We do have a storefront, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, how? Let's find out more about you and then also about your husband. He couldn't be here with us today. Yeah. Uh, you have a family to run in addition to a business. <laughs> we so do. We that's do. understandable. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but are you from West Michigan? We are actually not native of West Michigan. We are originally from the east side of the state, Detroit, Michigan. Um, however, my husband, uh, we're both alumni at Grand Valley. We transferred here probably about 13 years ago to go to Grand Valley. My husband played football there. Mm -hmm. um, and go Lakers. I know, okay. GBSU alumni. <laughs> um, so we pretty much, you know, it's home. Yes. You know? um, and as far as what we do, um, we graduated from college, we got started with a smaller business. Um, popcorn was something that we've always loved. Mm -hmm. And um, we pretty much kind of got the idea from other businesses that we owned. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then can you tell us about those businesses? Yeah, so we pretty much started with a inflatable company. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we did a lot of school fundraising. The kids sold different um, things, subs, cookies, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And the company basically hired our company, Bouncing Palace, to come in and offer the entertainment for the fundraising sales. Mm -hmm. um, that went really well. We had a great relationship with that company. We did that for about six and a half, seven years. And um, we noticed that the school started going away from the subs and cookies and they started doing popcorn. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a few uh, recipes that are in our family. So we thought, okay, my grandmother loves caramel corn. She's always made caramel corn. Another family member of ours owns a gourmet popcorn business. And we thought, well, what if we could actually offer gourmet popcorn uh, you know, partner with our inflatables. So pretty much we could do our own fundraising sales for our popcorn and then we would provide the entertainment. Mm -hmm. And okay. so that's where the idea was born. Okay, okay. And uh, what's involved in having um, so many flavors? You have 150 flavors of popcorn. That's the, I can't even think of 150 flavors. Yeah, um, well I think with each flavor, different ideas. A lot of it comes from the customers. Mm -hmm. You know, consumers come in and when they purchase the product, they say, well, hey, I, you know, I've tried this on vacation. Have you guys ever made that? I consider myself, you know, a renowned chef in my home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a lot of it is trial and error, trying different flavors. I've always been a, um, really good at baking. Um, and with the popcorn, a lot of cooking is involved. So a lot of your, you know, homemade favorites, family recipes, we pretty much have taken those and created popcorn from those recipes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So is it a lot of experimentation? I would say experimenting, um, you know, 
some of the recipes, but pretty much like, you know, for instance, we have a banana pudding. We've been making banana, a banana pudding. banana pudding popcorn? Our, yeah. Wow. Okay. So we've been making banana pudding for years. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much putting it on popcorn. There's only a little bit different um, as far as the preparation, but it's still the same recipe, just a little bit, you know, you know, you tweak here and there. So what do you do? You actually make the banana pudding and then just kind of pour it on the popcorn? Oh, well, my husband, I call him the popologist. So <laughs> okay. he actually makes the candy coated popcorns and then I consider myself the mixologist. So I pretty much, I use, you know, um, whey, vanilla wafers. Um, we use, it, it's not actually the bananas we use, mm -hmm. but we use a uh, banana flavoring. Um, that we use like a, a banana extract, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, and creating it, and pretty much, voila. <laughs> okay, and um, we're talking to Shave Mosby, and she is the co-owner of Mosby's Popcorn Palace. Yes. I like that name. Thank you. Uh, Thank how did you all come up with that? Um, it's kind of funny. So our freshman... Um, our freshman year of college, my husband had this idea to start a cleaning business. So it was just an idea at the time. When we graduated from college, we started a company called Royalty Cleaning. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, every business that we've had, we've stuck with the royalty, the palace, mm -hmm. uh, because we we're trying to build an empire for our children. Okay, so wonderful. So that's pretty much how it started. Oh, okay. And tell us about your children. How old are they and what are their names? We have three daughters. We have Nyla, who's 12 years old. We have Naomi, who's 10 years old. And we have our youngest, which is Abigail, and she is three years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do they get involved in the business? Are they your test test? Oh. Case testers? Okay. So Abigail Mosby, my three-year-old, I think she's the most involved. Mm -hmm. um, she's definitely a helper. She, when she's at the shop, she likes to sweep. Um, she loves to try to help pop popcorn. She wants to do the measuring. And she definitely taste a lot of movie theater butter popcorn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, you, you, you also utilize your popcorn for fundraisers. How does that work? Um, so basically fundraising is kind of our, um, it's kind of a newer thing for us and that's originally why we got started, but kind of selecting how we do our fundraising um, we pretty much are standard with most fundraising companies. What we do is we offer the organization 50% of the profits. So particularly there's about 15 flavors that you get to choose from on the sheet. Um, there's our small bag and there's our value bag. Mm -hmm. um, it's like these? Yes, or, these okay. red and blue bags. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much the red and blue bags are um, our fundraising bags. They select which bag they like to choose, what flavors. Sometimes, depending on the organization, we have done custom flavors um, or custom colors as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, like it's a sorority or something. Sure, and they want. Then you do their colors. Yes, pink red and, and white, white or pink and green, green and white, blue whatever. And white, yeah, <laughs> okay. Exactly. Okay. And yeah. um, they pretty much they order their popcorn. They place their order. They pay their deposit down. They keep their fifty percent of the profit. Mm -hmm. uh, we do offer free delivery or free pickup as well. Okay, so that's pretty good for organizations. What organizations have worked with you? Um, right now we are doing, um, they're called, the, the I, I assume it's called the Little AKAs. Mm -hmm. um, it's a teenage group out of Detroit currently. They are our first fundraiser mm -hmm. so far this year. Um, pretty much there are teenagers that are in this organization that are uh, looking to be a part of the AKA organization. Um, it's a pretty, pretty good uh, mm -hmm. organization that uh, involves um, grooming them for yes. college mm -hmm. and for Greek life. Mm -hmm. And preparing and them to be involved life. in the yes. community and, that is uh, and college life as well. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so what organizations are you and your husband involved in? I'm sure you're involved in your children's school. Yes, we do a lot through um, our children attend a charter school. Uh, we do some um, sample bags for uh, teacher appreciation. We've done them for carnivals. We've done them for spring kickoff. Um, 
We also have done uh, a lot of fundraisers in the Kentwood area, the high schools, the elementary schools. Uh, we have donated um, popcorn as well as gift certificates for some of those organizations in the community as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking to Cheve Mosby, uh, <coughs> co-owner of Mosby's Popcorn Palace yes. at 6155 Kalamazoo Avenue, Southeast, in the Clock Tower Mall. Is that what it's that called? Is Clock, Clock Tower, Tower Mall, Plaza. 60th and Kalamazoo. Yes. How did you all choose that location? Uh, it kind of was a fluke. Um, I work a corporate job as well, full time, and my job is very close by that location. And I was going to one of the businesses in the area, and I noticed that that venue in particular was empty and for lease. So I inquired about it. And originally we thought, well, it's a little far from the city, you know, the drive. Uh, but it worked out perfectly. A lot of foot traffic, uh, really great community. Um, really good um we have really great neighbors a mm -hmm. lot of support from the community so it just worked out perfectly mm -hmm. good good uh we want you to know that if you have a question or a comment for Cheve mosby that you can give us a call at 616-459-4881 that's 616-459-4881 now i've heard that your popcorn is like the best on this side of Chicago. You know, Chicago's known for great popcorn. Have you had their popcorn out in Chicago? Yeah, before, before we got started full time with that, you know, we frequent that area. We have some family there and I traveled for work in that area. So there were a few spots that were my favorites when I was in town to stop for popcorn. Um, but over time, we've replaced those <laughs> with ours, of course. Mm -hmm. We have customers that, um, absolutely love you know chicago their popcorn is very popular yeah. there's some brands that are more popular than others mm -hmm. but we have customers that say most bees is a lot better uh, <laughs> well that that that's a good uh, reference isn't yeah, it, it that, is. that's a it real is. good reference it real is. good reference have you connected we know that you know they were playing baseball yesterday sure. i was looking at a little bit of it don't know what's going on <laughs> but anyway <laughs> uh but of course, popcorn is always a favorite yeah. at the ball games and everything. Have you connected with, say, the Whitecaps here or Griffins or anybody? We have not connected with the Whitecaps or the Griffins. Uh, high school football teams, we have discussed um, relationships, a uh, few softball teams, um, that sort of thing, but nothing in the retrospect of that large mm -hmm. you know we are a mom and pop shop and like i said it's been about 10 months so we are looking to expand our business yes um but those are relationships that we have not built just yet mm -hmm. it's coming it is coming. <laughs> it's I coming speak it in existence. it's coming yes. okay you got to take those first steps yeah. first so you yeah. and it sounds like you all you and your husband are doing really well yeah, uh, yeah. with that um, so what are your degrees in, you, you and your husband? So my husband is a business major. Um, for myself, I graduated with early childhood development. So mm -hmm. my degree is basically working with children. Um, that's where my passion is. Business management has always been a passion of my husband. So as a wife um, and as a co-owner, um, just making sure that uh, he's taught me a lot along the way, but just making sure that um, I learned the ropes, mm -hmm. you know, because that's not my field, however, that I'm supportive and, you know, I get in there and I, you know, we get to it and I do what he needs me to do, you know, mm -hmm. and there's areas of opportunity because I've worked in different areas as far as professionally yeah. that I have input. So we're a great team. It works out. That's good because I was going to ask you, what is that like working together side by side, uh, the rewards of that? Sure. Um, and the challenges. Yeah, I think <laughs> rewards, um, it's kind of awesome because we appreciate it so much because we've built it from the ground up, you know, mm -hmm. and it's nothing like we've had other businesses where we've tried, um, you know, pretty much doing partnerships and things like that. But for a husband and wife to do it together, there are challenges because knowing when to cut it off, mm -hmm. you know, when not to bring work home. Right. And then other times, um, it's kind of awesome because when I'm at home and I think of something and I'm not at work, you know, I can say, 
oh, hey, you know, I was just thinking, you know, what if we try this or let's try this flavor, sometimes vacationing with the kids or things like that where we come up with different ideas and way to improve our business and improve our brand. Mm-hmm. Okay. So those are some of um, the biggest rewards, I guess, uh, in doing it together. You know? mm-hmm. how, how do you manage your time you you work in the corporate field sure. you own a business yes. Mosby's popcorn palace yes. and you have children as well we do. so how do you manage all of that you know it's taken a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort you know we pretty much run off a family calendar um, so we pretty much know where the kids have to be where we have to be we do have some um, faculty um, in place as well as support at the shop where we have employees that assist us with events and things like that mm-hmm. but it is a juggling act um, my corporate job is full-time there's a lot of responsibility there however um, I've been with my company long enough that my brand and my business is something that um, we put a lot of effort in as well um, my husband is phenomenal he is a workhorse mm-hmm. so he pretty much keeps the business where it needs to be, keeps it running. You know, he's a well-oiled machine. He Mm -hmm. has a process. He has a plan. He keeps notes. He keeps calendars. He lets me know where I need to be, what needs to be done. Um, And the same here. If I need him to do something, then we kind of just, we switch off if we need be. Mm -hmm. Uh, What are your hours for the store for Mosby's Popcorn Palace? So on Mondays, we're closed. That's our day of rest. Okay. (laughs) Um, Tuesday through Saturday, we're open 11 to 7, and on Sundays, we're open 12 to 3. Mm-hmm. And so when people come in and see your popcorn shop and see 150 flavors, I guess, on the board, I'm sure, uh, what do they say? A lot of it is, oh, you know, it's a little bit overwhelming when you first come in. Um, because there's so many flavors, you know, so you never know where to start. So the great thing about our business is that we offer free samples. So pretty much customers come in, they look, and typically we ask, you know, what's your, do you have a sweet tooth or do you enjoy savory? You know, that pretty much gets you into the right frame of mind of where you need to start. Mm -hmm. Um, Some people, you know, like to try one or two that they've always enjoyed, and sometimes we can get them to try new things as well and expand their palate, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us some of your flavors. So my Here favorite, we go. <laughs> I know, my favorite is Buffalo Ranch. Buffalo Ranch. Yeah. Okay. It's, is that spicy? It's not. And it's always the first question people say, well, is it hot? Okay. It's not hot at all. Oh. It has a creamy taste because of the ranch. So okay. it's really tasty. Um, my husband's favorite would be the honey barbecue. Okay. So that Interesting. Pretty good. Okay. Our movie theater butter is a great sale. Mm-hmm. And caramel. Mm, oh, yeah. oh you got to have caramel. Yes. Does it have the little toffees in it or not? We do not have toffees okay. in it. Everything caramel corn is good on its own. Yeah, we do a toffee almond. Ah, yeah, okay. That one's pretty good. Um, and birthday cake. Birthday cake, okay. Yeah, that one's and your favorite good. was what? Buffalo Ranch. Okay, yes. and what's your husband's favorite? Honey barbecue. Oh, that's what you said. Mm-hmm. And the, the kids? Uh, my baby loves movie theater butter. My oldest daughter loves s'mores. And my middle daughter actually likes the cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I noticed on, like on your cards and on your brochures, you said, um, you know, good for weddings and parties. And, of course, we would think of popcorn at parties, but I wouldn't necessarily think of Popcorn at weddings, that's interesting. Yeah, so a new phenomenon is popcorn bars. Ah, okay. Yeah, so we have a lot of customers that come in and that's pretty much their snack or their giveaway, their treat. Mm-hmm. Um, so we either do a popcorn bar where you have several jars and you allow your guests to scoop their own bags. Oh. Or we offer small sizes, uh, which are like our stack size bags. Um, mm-hmm. And it could be custom colors, custom flavors for your event as well. Okay, so they could be favors or something. Yes, like that. that. True. Okay, yes. so that's the that's the new new trend and everything. Yeah. So tell us about. Um, we're, I tell you what, we're going to talk more about what we have on the table, and I probably have to sample some because, I mean, what else? <laughs> <laughs> can happen. What should I do? Right. <laughs> right. I, it's my job. It is. 
It's quality so, control. Yeah, yeah, as long as I control it. Okay. Uh, okay, you're watching Time to Talk, and we're talking to Shave Mosby, mm -hmm. owner of Mosby's Popcorn Palace. And if you want to call her and ask her a question, today is the 26th of October, and our lines are open. Uh, 459-4881, 459-4881, 616 area code. Remember that we're on live every second and fourth Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's our new time now. So don't forget that, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. I'm R.G. Hall. <music> Welcome back to Time to Talk. I'm R.G. Holliman, and <coughs> my guest today is Cheve Mosby. And Mrs. Mosby is a co-owner of Mosby's Popcorn Palace, yes. which is at 6155 Kalamazoo Avenue, Southeast Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, about to give the zip code, but I don't know it. <laughs> but anyway, it's at Kalamazoo and 60th in the Clock Tower yes. Plaza. What are what are you next to? I am right next door to Pet Supplies Plus. Uh huh. Um, and I, there's, I would probably say I'm a couple doors down from Asian Nails. A lot okay. of girls know that area. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. And the movies are out there, and there's yes. a whole lot of things yes. out there. So you're in a very very good yeah, location. Yeah. Very popular area. Yes. And now uh, the Mosby's have. 150 flavors of popcorn. Mm -hmm. So it's my job to try some of them today. Yes. Okay, so what would you like to start me with? Um, we will do the Shy Mix. This one? Yes. Okay, that and this is? That uh, is our cheddar popcorn with our um, homemade caramel corn. Mixed. Ah, okay, cheddar and caramel. Yes. That's a nice combination. Yeah. Yeah. And now, you are, okay, I'm a, you're a professional. <laughs> okay. I, I, I can handle it after you open it. I know, right? <laughs> but I'll let you open it there today. You go. Okay, thank you. No um, okay, here we go, everybody. It's okay. good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's good. Um, you like to make sure your ingredients are very fresh. Oh yeah, absolutely. We pride ourselves on that. We make sure that our popcorn is 
uh, fresh. We make sure um, that when customers come in, if I don't have something on the shelf, that I will make it fresh for them. Okay, the right on the away, spot. I will make it right on the spot. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, do you, <clears throat> so, <laughs> I should know I'm going to need some water. Um, <clears throat> so, do you uh, have big kettles that you pop in, or we what do, do you pop in? We do. We have a large kettle machine, uh, as well as a large caramelizer that we make all of our popcorn in. Yes. How do you make sure it doesn't burn? Um, there's timing. Um, there is the temperature. Like I said, my husband is the popologist, so he stands right over that kettle and he makes sure that his popcorn is fresh, it looks right, it tastes great before we actually put it out. Okay, I like this. Okay, I like that a lot. So I'm gonna go to, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the next one before I just eat all of that. It's okay, what do you want me to try now? Okay, this one here is our white cheddar. So white cheddar? This is okay. white cheddar. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so white cheddar. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Very, very good. It has good. a lot of good flavor. It's very savory. Um, we make sure we put a lot of love in that bag. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, do you ever just kind of do some on-the-street marketing? Like, would you like some popcorn? We do, we do. <laughs> when, before we originally started and we opened up our location, probably for about uh, 60 to 90 days we actually just created popcorn in our home and we pass it out to friends neighbors businesses we frequent um, it pretty much was marketing and then just making sure that hey are we going down the right path is mm -hmm. this you know is is this really what people like you know how will people respond and you know what will people think and we've got very great reviews and like I said it's been 10 months and people still enjoy us and we're still creating brand new flavors for people to come in and try so we keep it interesting we keep it fun we're a family business and we love when families come in and try it so if we have popcorn typically on us we're like hey why don't you try this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> tell us okay. what you think okay that that's good that's really good too okay what what will, will we try next okay so I will let you try. This here is our rainbow mix. Um, it's this, very colorful. Yeah, so a lot of our customers that like it say, uh, whoops, rip that a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but they come in and they're like, what is all the colors? Mm -hmm. And pretty much we have grape popcorn, we have green apple popcorn, blue raspberry, so a lot of fruit flavors. Um, sweet popcorn. There are kids that enjoy it, but for the kids and all the adults, mm -hmm. they enjoy it as well. It kind of has a candy yes. flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is popcorn everything that you sell in the store is the yes. only thing? Yes, it's popcorn. we only sell popcorn. Mm -hmm. Yes, we only sell popcorn. So it's important to whatever you're going to do, yes. to do it and do it well. Yes, it is true. You know, because we are not like other retailers and we don't offer other services, we put a lot of time and passion in popcorn because when you come in, that's all there is is popcorn. And um, if as you taste it, that's all we need is popcorn. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Okay. I'm just doing my job, y'all. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the next one we're going to do? This one here is just... Looks like caramel corn. This is the caramel corn by mm -hmm. itself. Okay, great, great. Do you ever plan maybe in the far future to do something like a food truck or something and we have popcorn? We are thinking about that for festivals, downtown, uptown, um, Grand Rapids. Um, we've had requests, you know, hey, can you move further up? We've had requests to move further downtown. So we thought, well, if we had a mobile way to reach more um, consumers, then um, that would definitely expand, you know, our brand as well. But not to mention, it's really great. You know, it tastes great. It mm -hmm. looks great. Um, it's fun. And it. a lot of corporate corporations, they like to give out, you know, gifts for employee appreciation and things like that. So that's another way to get popcorn in the hands of a lot of people out there. That is good. That's good too. All of them are excellent. They really are. And um, 
So let's see what else you got for me. So before you started your business, this one here did you um you and your husband sit down and make a business plan? We did, yes. So we created a business plan and we wrote down, well, first we had to survey the market and we had to find out more about popcorn, the corn that we were using, making sure the ingredients um, were customer friendly and then dietary needs were being met as well. Um, course there's so many different ways that you can make popcorn mm -hmm. so we had to make sure that you know we had all of our ingredients down uh, what we would need we also had to um, get in front of some financial planners to kind of figure out how to plan for the business so a lot of research went into it prior to opening our doors mm -hmm. um, I think that's so important because it's important for people to know when they're thinking about a business sure. and they can look at somebody like you and your husband and say, wow, popcorn, yeah. okay, great idea. And yeah. it is a great idea. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Not easy, is it? Well, it's not easy. And it's something that we had to think about the market and longevity. Um, typically in a business, it takes about three years uh, for you to see uh, the profits of it, <coughs> whether or not, you know, your <coughs> going in the right direction so for us we had to do as much research as possible because we had to invest a lot of our own money into making this business happen mm -hmm. and, <coughs> and also what um, people need to know about starting a business is um, you want to start right and yeah. you want to do it right yes because <laughs> you don't want to go out there and then have to retract and come back sure and um, I think with that as well, we wanted to make sure that when we started, we had all the knowledge that we could gain prior to opening our doors. <coughs> we mm -hmm. had to make sure that, um, you know, what obstacles were we gonna face and how would we address those? Um, and I think in business, there's nothing wrong so, you know, sometimes you fail at something or um, you kind of miss your niche, you know. So we try to do as much research as possible to make sure that we wouldn't run into those. But then also, if we did, how would we overcome that hurdle? You know, kind of what would be our next step? Is your, um, do you sell in these bags or different size bags? We sell different size bags. So in the store, typically when you come in, we have a junior size bag, we have a small size bag, a medium bag, a large bag, and then a family size. Okay, and it's all sold in bags? You're not selling by the pound or ounce? We don't or sell by the pound, we sell by the bag size. Uh, we also offer tins. Our tins are very popular. We offer anywhere from a small size tin, we have a one quart, a two quart, three and a half, just depends on how big your group size is. You could have one flavor, two flavors, or three. Mm -hmm. In so, a tin? In a tin. Okay, yeah. so that, that's a, a wonderful item. holiday gift, Yeah, it? it is, especially on the weekend. We have a lot of families that come in on the weekend and they purchase for their movie night and things like that. Um, so tins are always great if you have a large group of people to feed. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking to Chevet Mosby. Um, about Mosby's Popcorn Palace, yes. and I'm eating the popcorn, uh, <laughs> which is delicious. And I think I got a couple more flavors to go, right? This or did one I? here, yeah. This I did one that here, one? Yep, this one here is our Chicago, and then that one's just cheddar. So we kind of did a couple just in okay. case some more staff wanted to try some. <laughs> They'll be all right. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think I've had the Chicago, yeah. have I? Yeah, you tried the Chicago. I did. Okay, okay. Yep. I tried the Chicago. Yep. This one here is cheddar if you want to try this alone. Uh-huh. And this is the same cheddar popcorn that we actually use inside of our Shy Mix. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, and so what are some of the things that you would like to see happen with Mosby's Popcorn Palace uh, in your biggest dream? <laughs> And my biggest dream, we would like to open, um, you know, a couple more locations throughout the city. Uh, we also would like to see our brand in some of our local stores. Uh, we also would like to have a mobile transportation so we can reach more customers and customer supply, you know, demand. 
So I think on a bigger scale, like I said, in the next couple years, we've already started you know, crunching numbers and looking at demographics and things like that, seeing how we can expand our brand, and not to mention just looking at what other offerings we could add to our popcorn business as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking to Shave Mosby, owner, co-owner with her husband of Mosby's Popcorn Palace. Yes and they're at 6155 Kalamazoo Avenue Southeast and open for business. Yes. Been open eight months now. Yes. Yeah, and doing great. Uh, so this will be your first holiday season in the store. Is that correct it's or no? Actually, we started uh, Gray Saturday, which is a small business Saturday right after Black Friday. Okay. So when we started, we were pretty new mm -hmm. to the area, pretty new for the holiday season. Um, this year, we're a lot more prepared. We did really well last year. This year, we're more prepared. We have a lot more flavors that we offer. Our stores completely renovated. Everything's ready to go. So we're uh, full sprint ahead at this point. Okay, so you're really ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not your first rodeo. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. So that's great. So Miss Heavenly from my crew brought us some water. Now, now I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go now. Now I can really get with this popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Which, viewers, it is excellent. Really, really good. I'm not kidding. It's really good. Yeah, All the flavors you. are really, really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, talk about dependability <clears throat> as a business owner. Um, it's so important for businesses to do what they say they're going to do sure. <laughs> and be there when they say they're going to be there sure. and deliver whatever product you say you're sure. going to uh, deliver. Sure. Yeah. I think that with business, you have to think about your business the same way a corporation runs their business. So when you say that you open up at 11 o'clock, you need to be there at 11 o'clock. You know, the one uh, thing that... Um, we don't have um, the flexibility with this. When you're sick, you know, you don't have 10 people behind you yeah. to come in and run your business because this is your baby, this is your brand, this mm -hmm. is your business. So making sure that we're staying healthy, staying fit, making sure that when we commit to something, we follow through on our commitments. Um, we always have to be on point, yeah. you know, because not only are we the owners, but we also are the operators. So customer service, being customer friendly, being able to um, meet your customers' needs and being able to satisfy um, your customers' request. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's a huge, a huge deal when you think about longevity in the market and staying around. And basically, your brand says a lot about who you are. So when people talk about Mosby's popcorn, it's not just about the popcorn, but it also represents us as the owners and how we represent ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it's also important. Um how other people in your business represent you. Yes, that is very um, true. When you're not there. Yes, that is very um, true. Yes. Wanting to be sure that everybody is is treated right. How do you train those who work with you to do what you need them to do? Um, a lot of it is on the job training. So when we originally start and we have an employee come on board, we pretty much have them watch us and they work in the back. You know, because mm -hmm. a lot of it is, you know, I can tell you over and over what I want you to do. But if I show you what I want done, and then I follow up, and then I watch you, and then I groom you, and then I teach you, then it's a lot easier for you to implement when we're there and when we're not there. Mm -hmm. The way that we conduct ourselves and our expectations for our employees, um, there's no difference. You know, those are both parallel. The standards that we hold ourselves is the same standard we hold our employees. So mm -hmm. you have to make sure that when a customer comes in, you greet them, you say hello, you're smiling. Um, you also want to make sure that if a customer uh, makes a request, typically, you know, it's something that 
we usually will make accommodations to um, fulfill, mm -hmm. you know, if it, if there's a question ever comes up or if there's an issue arise, then they know that they can give our contact information for that customer to contact us as well. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and it's important to get to yes, yes. Uh, what, whatever it is, yes. trying to give that customer a yes to answer. Yes, and just being transparent, you know, a lot of it has to do with that as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, you must be very careful about who you hire and everything like that. Sure. Because some businesses are like, well, whoever shows up, then okay, I'll take them on. But sure. you don't want to do that. Sure. I think with our business, we have to definitely make sure that we hire the right people. And when we first started, it was something that my husband and myself, we were the only two running the business. You know, we worked seven days, we worked um, long hours, and we had, you know, it was a tall order, you know, originally because it's just hard to let go because we're a new business, we have a new product, and so we wanted to make sure that it was flawless mm -hmm. and making sure that customers are being addressed, mm -hmm. the product is right, and then these recipes, these are our recipes, mm -hmm. you know, so you have to make sure you have the right people because you don't want to someone else yeah. tweaking or changing yeah. up your recipe, you know, because that has to do with, you know, your, your brand and what people are used to. You know, we have right. customers that come in and they know they want popcorn. Yeah. I want my cheddar. Okay. <laughs> Not 10 pounds of salt in yeah. there. Uh, we're talking to Chevey Mosby from Mosby's Popcorn Palace, and we will be right back. I'm Margie Holloman. We're glad you could join us once again. Again, our new time is 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. every second and fourth Wednesday here on GRTV, Comcast Cable 25. Now, our friends in Wyoming, Kentwood, and Gaines Township can see us next week every time we're on live. Then the following week, we're on um, WKTV, Comcast Cable 25, on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. So... You can catch it one way or another. So your friends who are out there yes. uh, that way uh, can see you on TV again. Yes. 
next week. Okay. And so, you know, they'll rush the store. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Won't get a fuck Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So, it, and we're trying, I'm, I'm trying the popcorn for you all ahead of time. And I can tell you now, it's it's very good. It is good stuff. I'm partial, but it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, you, you you have a right to be. And, and I'm sure you're very proud of what you and your husband have been oh, able yeah. to accomplish. Extremely, extremely. My husband and I have been together over 17 years. Mm -hmm. And so we pretty much started, you know, as kids and everything that we've built, you know, to look back and it's been great. It's great being, you know, his partner, you know, not only in life and in love, but also in business. Mm -hmm. Have you had an opportunity to go and to speak to others like, young people in schools or anything and talk about business? Or? My husband has. Uh, we have done some uh, classes for young teens and middle school students at the popcorn shop that have come in and we've given them a little bit of advice on entrepreneurship and you know how we got started. Uh, it's amazing these kids you know how brave they are and um, just looking to see that a 10 year old, 11 year old, 12 year old are thinking about, you know, business ownership, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and how much that could impact the world, you know, if these little brains, you know, and their great ideas turn into large, you know, businesses and corporations. So we always like getting involved with those sort of events and those opportunities, you know, to reach out to youth, you know, to let them know you can do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes work, it takes time and effort, but you can do it. What are some of the questions they ask you? Typically, uh, popcorn. How do you make the popcorn? What's in the popcorn? Why does it taste so good? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of it, um, with a lot of the young men, um, just wanted to know, you know, how my husband, you know, how he did it, how did he get started, um, business, you know, you know, how do you get started? How do you open a business? You know, who wrote your plan? You know, they have good you, questions, yeah, don't they? What made you want to start a business? I'm telling you, these kids, it's impressive, you know, just to know how their, you know, their brains work. Um, a lot of them are very informed. You know, some of them have, you know, brands, small brands that they're looking. Um, one of the kids at one of the events, I remember, he asked us, he said, who, who made your shirts? Uh, our logo shirts for the business. Okay. And my husband told him the company he said, I make shirts. Mm -hmm. He said, you, I'll give you a business card. <laughs> I, uh, 12 oh. years old, and he's got business wow. cards. Wow. Okay, know? he was networking. How prepared. Right. Yeah. Right. He's like, hey, let's network. Let me get you a couple of my shirts. So those, those sort of things and those type of kids, you know, we love to keep in contact with and help them whenever we can. Mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> and um, as you speak of your logo, on your logo, it shows a, a palace. Maybe uh, we might be able to get that. Uh, but it shows a palace. And talk more about being royalty and, and passing that royalty down yeah. generations. I think that you have to speak, you know, positivity. Not only to mention that, you have to think highly of yourself. Mm -hmm. Because being in business and sometimes when you're the underdog, you know, there's so many negatives and so many things that can deter you from starting a business. And, um, you know, there are opportunities, of course, out there that sometimes, you know, you miss out on because you're, you are a small business. So um, the palace and royalty is something that we just thought that we don't have to be a large business to think highly of our brand or think highly of ourselves because it doesn't matter where we are now. It doesn't matter how we look now. You know, we get dressed for the job that we want, you know. So basically, we work for the success. We work as hard for the success thinking that, you know, this is going to pay off in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, what role does spirituality play in you and your husband's lives and business? Um, I mean, faith is huge for us. You know, I, we grew up in a church. Um, my great grandfather started a church uh, when I was young, so my grandmother was an evangelist. So my husband and I, that's our background. We actually met at church. Okay, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, stepping out on faith, but just believing that no matter what happens, no matter uh, what doesn't happen, that God has a purpose and a plan for us all. 
And so um, I don't look at the everyday ins and outs of, you know, where I missed out. You know, I always look at, you know what, that may not have been it. Something else is going to come along or I'm going to work just as hard the next time, you know, to make it happen. But God's got us. Mm -hmm. God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. it. We're talking to Shave Mosby from Mosby's Popcorn Palace. And and it's kind of fun to say. (laughs) (laughs) Popcorn Palace. Yeah. 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 And they're at 60th and Kalamazoo, 6155 Kalamazoo Avenue, Southeast. Open Tuesdays through Sundays? Yes. Okay. 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 Taking those Mondays off. Yes. Okay. Then you can relax and and check out other businesses too. Sometimes too, you know, Mondays we use it for, we have corporate events or we have large orders. That's a day to, you know, get our corporate, you know, our corporate orders out and bagged up, you know, without the hustle and bustle of the everyday traffic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, And and I'm sampling, uh, still sampling the popcorn and everything and um, my crew they came in here and said well there's not going to be any left for us and I said well that's true yeah. <laughs> you're the host it's all no, but you. you'll be okay you'll be all right you'll, maybe Miss Mosby will come back and oh, help you yeah. out another time anytime 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 <laughs> because this was our first time with this experience of this yeah. and so it's, it's very exciting Uh, everything that you're doing. Yeah, we really appreciate being here. We really do. Just to have this platform to talk a little bit more about what we do and why we got started. Because I know a lot of times people think, you know, about business. And because we do have several businesses, it's you know, for us, it's not just another business. You know, our businesses are something that we really are passionate about. You know, it's not about about the money. Mm -hmm. You know, we do what we love to do. Mm-hmm. And we hope to bring families together. Every business that we have is family based, you know, because that's the core of who we are. You know, we're a family and we like to do things in our family business that keeps our family together. Mm-hmm. And and so it must um, excite you a lot when families come into your oh, popcorn yeah. business it and, does. you know, sample the popcorn it and does. just share time together. Yes. It does. It does. We have we have a couple customers that come in on Fridays after school, and that's their every Friday stop. They come in and they pick out their flavors, or we have families that come in. Typically, the children, they're brave. They come right up to the counter, and they want to try every flavor from the left to the right side. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So it's nice to have samples, you know, so they can pick out what they wanted. It's the experience, mm-hmm. right, you know, as a family. Uh, they get to stop in, and um, I'm all I'm always about the experience. So that's why we offer free samples, and I'm glad that we have families that come in, and you know they bring their children along, you know, mm-hmm. to try our treats. I uh, know is this a sit down um, establishment that you have, or? Takeout, more takeout, sample more, and takeout. It's more of a takeout. We do have seating available in our establishment for families to sit and enjoy, um, but pretty much it's a, you know, come and go. Um, customers come in, they try it. You know, unless you're waiting for your popcorn, then you'll kind of sit around. We have some people uh, that have been with our business since we started, so we always have, you know, the catch up from the week. You know how their week is gone, so they stay a little bit longer than others. But mm-hmm. it's pretty much takeout. Okay, and so do you have popcorn popping? You know, smell of popcorn oh. popping is always so enticing. Oh yeah, we definitely do. The customers come in and they're like, "Oh, I smelled it from next door. I had to come in." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of our neighbors, too, that are employees, they come in, they're like, I smelled it all day, I just had to get some, you know, so the smell is always something that uh, it brings people in, you know, who doesn't like popcorn? Right, exactly, exactly. So tell us how to reach you, where, where you're located, and then all the different ways on social media that people can get in contact yes. with you. We are located at 6155 Kalamazoo Avenue. We are actually located in the Clock Tower Plaza. Um, a lot of people know that family, fla- that family Fair is right there, but we're right next door to the Pet Supplies Plus, and Asian Nails is also one of our neighbors. Um, we also have um, Facebook, so you can catch us at Mosby's Popcorn, no apostrophe. 
uh, on Facebook. We also have Instagram, which is Mosby's Popcorn, no apostrophe. Um, we always post updates, you know, our new flavors. Um, and we always ask people to come in and taste, you know, our treats as we make new flavors. Um, and our website is www.mosbyspopcornpalace.com. I know it's a mouthful, but <laughs> www.mosbyspopcornpalace.com. Our phone number is 616-260-6466. And how far in advance do you need uh, notice to make special orders, say, for an event? So it depends on the event. So this week we had a couple events that went out. Um, they were under the $200, uh, 200 bag, I'm sorry, 200 bag order. Typically uh, 48 to 72 hours. Um, but we had a couple larger orders that went out that were over 600 bags. So typically we like a week or two just so we can make sure that we have all our supplies that we need um, because we hate to compromise quality, you know. So if we know in advance we can plan for your event, we make sure that we have everything. Um, so popcorn tastes amazing no matter if you're bag one or if you're bag 600. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is there anything else, Cheve, that you would like to share with us? Um, I think that if you haven't tried us, you know, definitely, you have to visit the store. You yes. know, it's a beautiful <laughs> store, you know. I don't know who did the interior design, but they did a great job. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's a retro feel, um, but uh, there's so many different flavors, so you never get bored, you never get tired. Uh, if you like savory, if you love kettle, we have great kettle corn. That sweet and salty mix is so good, especially mm -hmm. when it's warm. And um, on the weekends, we have hot caramel and hot toffee, which a lot of our customers enjoy. So it's just fun, you know, fun for families. So if you haven't had an opportunity, come out and visit us, 6155 Kalamazoo <coughs> Avenue, Grand Rapids, Michigan. All right. Well, uh, I have certainly enjoyed sampling these flavors, and they were all very, very good. Yes. And I'll just have to get to the 140 more, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't mind one bit. <laughs> but it's excellent. And I want to uh, congratulate you Thank on your, you. you and your husband, on your business, and okay. hope that uh, everything continues to go very, very well for you. Thank I you. can I can see that this is going to just really take off and blossom and be a blessing, you yes. know, because uh, what you're doing is helping other people um, as well. Because when they see you doing what you're doing, they're like, oh, I can do it too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, we wish you the very best. Oh, thank and you. And we ask you to go stop by yes. Mosby's <laughs> Popcorn palace yes very soon and when's the next time you personally will be there i will be working there this saturday 11 to 7. okay so if you're interested in coming in i'll be there mm -hmm. make sure to come and visit me at 6155 kalamazoo avenue this saturday from 11 to 7. And tell them you saw it on Time to Talk. Yes. Yes. Shave <laughs> Mosby, thank you so much oh, for being so with us. Thank you so much for having and me. And thank you for the popcorn. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in two weeks. You've been watching Time to Talk. I'm R.G. Holliman.